Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Hannah Wallace. This Naples Herald Morning Report is brought to you by RP2 USA, the only local Google Premier partner in Southwest Florida. This morning, we'll tell you about a potential new parking garage in Naples, the first day of school for students in Lee County, and more. Today is Friday, August 11th, and this is the Morning Report. The answer to whether a new parking garage will come to a Fifth Avenue neighborhood in Naples is expected to be resolved next week. But until then, it's a full court press from supporters to get the word out. The 5th Avenue South Business Improvement District has been pushing hard for the city to create a parking garage at the corner of 4th Avenue South and 4th Street. The organization represents business and property owners in the area and complains that the lack of parking down towards the west end of 5th Avenue is hurting businesses there. A petition was created on Change.org to support the new garage which had over 1,500 signatures on Thursday. The structure is supposed to go before the Community Redevelopment Agency for a recommendation on Tuesday with an ultimate vote on Wednesday in front of the council. For more on this story, go to NaplesHerald.com. Children pulled on their backpacks and yellow buses filled the streets as Lee County's 98,000 students returned for their first day of classes on Thursday. Superintendent Gregory Adkins was on hand at Diplomat Middle School in Cape Coral to meet students, teachers, and parents on their first day of school. Adkins opened the school day by leading the student body in the customary Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. Mawar Bennington, principal of Diplomat Middle, escorted Adkins around the campus, showing him the classroom layouts and introducing him to students and staff. Bennington told staff that she was excited to have the superintendent tour the campus at the beginning of a new school year. According to Bennington, the goal of the first day back to school is building the relationships that will allow students to succeed the rest of the year. The stop at Diplomat Middle was one of six Adkins made across the district on Thursday to celebrate the beginning of the school year. For more on this story, go to leeherald.com. The U.S. Postal Service warned Thursday that it will likely default on up to $6.9 billion in payments for future retiree health benefits for the fifth straight year, citing a coming crash crunch that could disrupt day-to-day -day mail delivery. The service said it expected cash balances to run low by October and to avoid bankruptcy would likely not make all of its payments as required on federal law. Postmaster General Megan Brennan stressed an urgent need for federal regulators to grant the Postal Service wide freedom to increase stamp prices to help cover costs, citing continuing red ink due to declining first-class mail volume and the expensive mandates for retiree benefits. The Postal Service has already defaulted on $33.9 billion in health benefit prepayments. Left unresolved, the rapidly growing debt means that American taxpayers eventually could be forced to cover the massive costs when future postal retirees seek to cash in on the health benefits to which they are legally entitled. The Postal Regulatory Commission is making a decision on stamp pricing next month. For more on this story, go to NaplesHerald.com. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Hannah Wallace. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you right here on Monday.